thing that um, the other thing that is a danger. So this is a free closed lending library without a librarian. There's not anybody here checking it out. It's open all the 24 hours. You can come up. You can get what you want. Take it away. Nobody knows what people are doing up here. Mm -hmm. The danger associated with a free close or anything lending library without a librarian is somebody will come and say, oh, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice. I'm going to take all these things and I'm going to put them in my room and I'm going to pull them out of the system and I'm going to hoard. Yeah. So what do you do as a culture to beat hoarding? Well, it's actually, it's a mind game that we play on ourselves. We have people who work in the, it's not just the laundry and putting things up. We have people who go out into the world, they look for nice, used, cheap, and free things, and they bring them back, and they don't just bring them back, but they display prominently the things that they think are nicest. So you come up the stairs and you say, oh, this is nice, oh, this is nice, oh, this is nice. There's always nice things in commie clothes. I don't have to hoard the stuff because, they have something because there's always there's something, always something up, there. Up, there's always something here that's mm -hmm. nice. So they make sure that the quality is maintained at a level that will keep people coming back as return shoppers using the space rather than hoarding stuff in there. Now, what about children? I mean, is it the same way for children's clothes a whole, or is there a whole different system a whole different for parents kids who have... Because yeah. uh, no, the it could be a penalty things. there if you have to have you know, clothe your own kids and pay for that laundry, which is different from being able to use Comic, there's a kids coming close there's a whole there's a parallel institution that has things because they're much more sizes for kids and most of the adults don't wear their kids sizes so it's just in a different it's place a, and it's a different building perfect and and, okay. uh, and there is a whole kids coming close thing as well and so you can as parents you can mm -hmm. throw your kids Collective laundry into the collective laundry, or if you really like the piece, you can hold on to. And it what did you call it? Off. Combi clothes. Combi clothes. You do call it combi clothes. Combi clothes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was short for community clothes, so but they're that. playing off. C O M M I E. You use the E as well. Yeah. Okay. You're just playing off. Yeah, it. that much. I, I wondered if it right. was, yeah. if you were playing off of it or not. Yeah, I mean, you know, Twin Oaks is a different kind of economic model than. The mainstream, right? Our mm -hmm. commitment is that we're going to take all of the money that comes from our businesses, we're going to pool it all together, and we're going to figure out how to equally divide it out in services and goods to the people mm -hmm. who are here. And people have very low allowance. It's like eighty-two dollars a month, month is, yeah. what, is what you get, or eighty-four, I guess it was what you get for for a living here. But the average person who lives here gets no bills. Yeah, see, it's gone yeah. up since some, when, a few years ago when I was here. Then I yeah. think it was seventy something. Then yeah, yeah so seventy-two 70, maybe. It was seventy-two for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Thinking, wow, could I do that? <laughs> well, could you do it if you didn't get any bills? Well, That's yeah, I suppose, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, personal, uh, somebody who has a personal habit uh, that no one else has. Or like that, book buying and uh, craft. And smoking craft. and smoking. things like that. I mean, that's... Lots of people stop smoking here. And, ah. and, the, and the cost is, uh, is definitely a piece of it. And the community will pay for stuff to help you quit smoking. But really? the community doesn't prohibit smokers. No. So Twin Oaks, this is an important point is that Twin Oaks is what's called an embrace diversity community mm. and what that means is I'm not saying to you you have to be vegetarian and I'm not saying to you that you have to stop smoking cigarettes and I'm not saying to you you have to send your kids to homeschooling and I'm not saying to you uh, you have to use this birth control or whatever we as much as possible we avoid telling our members what it is that they do to maximize the amount of autonomy and freedom that they have mm -hmm. now inside of that we do place constraints on people like part of the reason that some people leave is they want to do some kind of uh, medical thing that the community doesn't uh, doesn't want to cover that's expensive or is outside of the outside of what it is that we we have like they want to do some kind of right 